with Keller Williams. I'm sorry, sorry. Oh, okay. Hi everyone, this is Mona with Keller Williams and I'm with my client Eric and we just closed on his house here in Telfair and I'm just going to give him a quick couple of questions about your experience with me. Um, so Eric, tell us where were you in your seller's journey before you decided to work with me? Uh, we had been talking about for the last couple of years uh, transition in our life and when we would decide to move and sell the house and downsize as our kids had grown. Um, had met Mona in the neighborhood and began talking to her and stuff. Recently though my job changed where I needed to be relocated into the Fort Worth market so at that point in time it became obvious that you know we needed to sell the house so we uh, reached out and talked to Mona. That's right because I kept kind of talking to you and talking to you and finally uh, Pam and you kind of said well let me call Mona and see um, get her advice for selling my house. Right Mona is very tenacious and really works hard in her business and does a lot of marketing and Pam and I were always impressed that she would consistently know exactly what was going on with us to follow up and see where we were at as we had spoke. So we found that very impressive and thought um, when it became time to list Mona was somebody we really wanted to talk to. So how did you initially meet me? How did just do you remember? <laughs> I do. Uh, you, you're in, uh, we live in the same neighborhood, and you were out actively marketing to the neighborhood, and I thought that was kind of impressive. I I like direct sales, and I like the fact that you went around the neighborhood, took the time to introduce yourself. You weren't pushy. You weren't overbearing, but you said, "Hey." this is what my business is, this is what I do. Wanted to get a chance to meet the neighbors and also tell you if you needed services or uh, in the help in the real estate business that here's who I am. And I thought that was, I, I found that very impressive. So it always stuck in my memory. So exactly. three plus years and then we listed and sold with you. So obviously, you know, there's something there. Yeah, I remember I right when I started uh, up at Keller Williams, I was door knocking the neighborhood, and Eric was one of the houses, first houses that I door knocked, and I said, if you ever need a free comparative market analysis of your house, let me know. And he said, sure, let, let's get one. And so, oh, you know, I think it was that same night or the night after I came over, uh, showed y'all the CMA initially, right. and you said, well, Mona, we're not ready for selling our house now, but we'll definitely keep you in mind. And so I do remember, you know, consistently following up with you guys, um, and then finally you reached out to me so that was that was exciting when you did call me so, right yeah um, so what was your overall experience working with me uh, you handled it very well you were professional I think your recommendations were solid um, to me facts always speak louder than opinion or whatever but the fact that we sold the house in five days tells you that the professionalism and your understanding of the real estate market is strong your recommendation to get an appraisal so that everybody's expectations um, that's very wise. I would encourage everyone to listen to you and do that. Mm -hmm. um, I, the, the evaluation of the home for how you want it set up for uh, visits and stuff along those lines, obviously it all proved to be factual. Mm -hmm. So five days is I'd say that's tremendous. Exactly. In fact, we were anticipating much longer, and then Eric and Pam were like, oh my gosh, we got to move? <laughs> and so it was exciting to get the house under contract in five days, and definitely an appraisal is important in the process. Um, you know, we do look at the comparative market analysis, but the appraisal will give us a really good idea of what the house will sell for, and when we go under contract, um, it makes it a lot smoother if we've already had it appraised uh, for the price. Um, so another thing is, um, Eric, would you recommend me to family and friends? Yeah, absolutely. I think anybody that's selling a home um, that you come in contact with would be wise to sit down with you and talk about what their expectations are and how you can help them market their home. Exactly. And the good thing was um, Pam and Eric really listened to my recommendations. So it made my job as a realtor a lot easier because they really valued my opinion and the recommendations I gave them on different things with the house, getting the appraisal um, and getting things decluttered. They really did take that advice and get everything implemented before we put it on the market. Um, and that was exciting. Um, as soon as it got on the market, we got a lot of showings um, and then got you know an offer in, under contract in five days. Um, so lastly, um, tell us uh, what you would recommend to other sellers who are starting their journey you know what kind of advice do you have the first thing is is talk to a few people but when you're talking to Mona listen to what she's telling you and I think you really need to again I'm a big advocate of this appraisal I think that was the best advice that we had mm -hmm. and 
it really made it a lot easier to know what your expectations were. Because I think that's the biggest challenge that people have is managing their expectations. Mm -hmm. So we knew realistically where the house was valued at, what it was going to do, not an inflated value or some un unreasonable comp or whatever, but mm -hmm. at the valuation. That's so right. I think that's, that's right. important. That's good. Well, thanks so much, Eric, for taking the time to kind of give your feedback on me. And um, I'm very excited that you're closed and ready to move on to your next step in your journey. Well, we won't be neighbors anymore. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I guess I'll have to go to where you are now, huh? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.